Hey there, I'm Critzy Bear, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead again, and um, I'm playing this again after several days of being Cataclysm free, and I've since realized that my method of playing kind of leaves a lot to be confused about if you've never played the game before, such as um, all this stuff. Uh, I can see this fine. This here's a plant, this is a table, the bunch of chairs over there, there's a table all the way over there, it's probably a desk. Um, this, this, this wall is missing, this seems like there's been something digging in here, you know, this is all clear to me, but to other people it might not be so clear, uh, so I'm going to try to be a little better about that, you know, explain things a little better, because I'll, as much as I want to believe that people who know how to play the game are going to be playing, I mean, are going to be watching me play, uh, it's... It's wishful thinking because um, people who are going to be knowledgeable about this game are going to be playing it themselves. I'm not, I'm not the best commentator, so people who know how to play the game are not going to be interested in watching me. Uh, so now that there's any, not that there's anything wrong with not knowing how to play the game, it is a roguelike after all, um, and people generally have a hard time jumping right into roguelikes. Uh, it's, it's a very, very uh, unique taste in game. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'll start playing. Um, right off the bat, we've got a whole bunch of zombies over here. We can see the shocker zombies because the zo shocker zombies glow in the dark. Um, but uh, the big one, the shocker brute over here, you can tell because he has a highlighted background. Uh, he's got you know, a bigger body, so he illuminates more, so you can see right there there's a zombie next to him, just a normal zombie, and somewhere around here there's a decayed zombie. You can see up here, see, somewhere to the southwest there's a decayed zombie, and he's in the uh, enemies group. You can tell he's decayed because he's got the brown background. Um, press shift V, you get to see all the items around you. Where's the decayed zombie? He's, he's near a different shocker brute. Okay. Anyway, so first order of business, I gotta drop this soap that is in some miscellaneous area of my body that's slowing me down. And um, I'll drop the towel later, because I think that also adds encumbrance, and also makes me really cold, because uh, it's all wet. And now that I'm done with that, I'm going to look around at the items nearby. Seems like most of the items are in a pile over there, and one of them is a purse. Oh, one of them is a backpack. I didn't even see that. There's a backpack over there, and there's soda somewhere. And there's a computer gaming. I think those used to give you skills in computers, but now I think they're just for fun. Uh, how to succeed in business. Don't really need that, because uh, there's there's no one else to talk to. Because NPCs right now are still really glitchy, so it's difficult to... Uh, to find anyone to talk to, and if you do find anyone to talk to, they'll do things like steal your stuff and hang around in your house, and it's not even, like, legitimately stealing your stuff. They don't understand that they're doing anything wrong. So you can't just attack them for it without your character getting in a bad mood because it just attacked a person. Um, anyway, I'm going to go for that backpack over there because backpacks are invaluable. Like, those are one of the main tools. you got to get a backpack, you got to get a knife, and you got to get matches. Those are three things that you can't live without. You can make everything else if you have those three things. Or at least that's my strategy. Um, see, now there's a bunch of dirt in this house, and this wall is knocked out, and there are little mounds of dirt. These little brown hashtags, right here and here and here, those are probably buried mines. Um, I think my house might have become a minefield while I was in the shower, so... Uh, I'm gonna finally make my first move. Sorry this has taken so long. I'm just gonna creep over to the right. Careful not to fall into any mines. Yep. This is a minefield. And I got the backpack. No, don't put it on yet. Um, now I gotta get out of here. Uh. See, right now, this stuff down here, this is smoke from these fires over here, because my house is on fire. Uh, but, um, in order to escape the smoke without, uh, without 
inhaling any, I would have to go into this tile right here. Uh, but that tile is dirt. I'll show you. Yep, it's dirt. See, up here is where the information goes. It's dirt. Just normal dirt. Uh, but under that dirt, there might be a mine. Uh, the floor tiles are safe because that you know, it's not exposed earth, you would have a hard time hiding a mine under floor tiles. Uh, so, I could either go around and go to this dirt tile, which I know is safe, or I can go up into that dirt tile, which I don't know is safe, and potentially get blown up. Uh, which would be very anticlimactic, considering the amount of time that I've spent on showing you guys what's going on. I'm going to take the risk, though risking my toes getting blown off. My toes got blown off and in my own house. Didn't even get out the door because my house was on a minefield. Uh, so I got blown up. The house is on fire. Not going to watch the last moments of my life. Uh, see, you're caught, uh, you trigger a landmine, you're caught in the explosion, shrapnel hits your torso, my arms, my legs, everything. I'm dead. And apparently my name was Brian Davidson. Okay. Survived zero days and killed zero things. So, I'm not going to bother making a message since I died right at the start. And I'm going to, now that I've played my first game, I'm going to keep uh, editing out failed attempts until I get a good one. Have, have fun watching the slideshow of death. And the skeleton. Yep, the skeleton got me. Oh well. I'm getting attacked by a feral zombie, so I'm probably dead. Yeah. Might as well attack it for no damage. Or just keep going. Yep, dead. This is not going good. I'm dead. Yep. Okay, so starting starting another game right off the bat. There's no zombies, and across the street is a grocery store. But I am in the middle of a town, so might not be the best place. I'm thinking I'm gonna get whatever I can out of this. Uh, hopefully some clothes, then head up to the grocery store, steal a shopping cart, head into that house, and then head into that sporting goods store. Or might even skip that house and just go straight to the sporting goods store, because sporting goods stores have things like knives and backpacks and matches, which is pretty much all you need to survive out in the woods. So, this is a good start. Pretty good start. I'll just go ahead and drop the soap so I'm not slowed down. Uh, I've got a television on that table. See this red thing here? It's a, it's a sofa. A nice long sofa in front of the TV. And someone is breaking into my house. No time to get any clothes. Just gotta get the heck out of here. Gonna go over to this house, which is not on fire, and sneak in here. Go into their bedroom, no clothes. I've got a blanket. Lighter. Lighter is good. Um, got underwear. I'm gonna drop this towel. Wear this underwear. Because anything is better than a towel. Um, what is a halter top? Is that is that male or female? Um, hope it, hope it's hope it's male clothing. Hope I'm not a cross dresser. Not that there's anything wrong with being a cross-dresser if you're, if you're a cross-dresser. It's just not my thing. Uh, got any knives in here? Got a butter knife. It's not going to help very much. Do you have a bathroom? It's a strange question to ask, but sometimes I can't find them. Oh, good bathroom. Got a bunch of stuff in here, but no, no first aid kits. Just water and a bathtub and sink. Let's see that that right there is a toilet. Toilets generally have water in it. I know that's gross, but I got a sink, got a bathtub here. These little squiggly lines are a bathtub. And um, I got got a stockpile of 
stuff right here. Can I fit the bandage? I can fit the bandage into my underwear. Good. Got a bunch of books. Got under the hood here. That might be a good book if I can find anything to put it in. Oh, got a utility vest. I'm gonna go ahead and wear that in case I don't find any other uh, storage space, and I'm gonna put the under the hood in there. Because uh, mechanical knowledge is a good thing to have. Where's that skeleton at? I spotted a skeleton. Okay. It's way down there. Don't gotta worry about it. Don't know why I can see it, but can I fit a blanket into this utility vest? Okay, I can. Not very well, but somehow I'm fitting a blanket in there. Got a frying pan, and I already gotta drop the blanket. Uh, I'm gonna take that frying pan. See, there's a sporting goods store right up there, so I can probably get all this stuff from there, but, you know, it's it's better to assume that you won't be able to get to it, rather than make your plan solely on the uh, idea that you'll be able to get there. But, you know, it would be nice, because sporting goods stores also generally have bandages. There are a lot of zombies in front of that grocery store, though. And I don't want to deal with that. And there are a couple groups of zombies here. You can see these question marks. That's something that I hear. And um, these shocker zombies are just standing still. So might be able to sneak on through these. Hmm. Seem like pretty widely just... Nope. 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 Not going through there. Gotta go around. Going around it. I've made that mistake too many times to assume that I can just sneak on past. I get bit, and because I'm in pain, I slow down. And because I'm slow, I get bit more, and then I'm dead. Got an alcohol store up here. Uh, the little purplish, brownish thing right here is a liquor store. Uh, if I was better at first aid, I could fashion up a makeshift first aid kit. Got nicked there by a tough zombie, but tough zombies aren't very good at attacking, they're good at being attacked. And got the sporting goods store. Through this RV, I think. This messed up RV. And I got nicked twice. Ooh! Got a bunch of zombies. Oh boy. And they're piling onto this car. Probably, yeah. I got them all slowed down on the car itself, and they're all hitting the car. And it's probably attracting all the all the ne'er do wells to it because it's noisy and it's a distraction. Let me just stand still for a minute. Okay. Find the. Okay. Someone already broke a window for me, so. I got socks. Socks is good. I'm going to steal those. I'm not going to put them on yet. Got leggings and a helmet. Uh, these would be good things if I uh, had time. Oh, good. Got shoes. Yes, put on the shoes. What is that? What is that next to me? That's a... Oh, crap. It's a runner. Those are almost as fast as me. Do I... No, I don't want to see monsters. I want to see the items. Uh, thread, razor. Razor might... No, razors don't count as tools. Got a shovel. Got a rotation vest. No ignition devices or knives, though. Um, blowgun. What kind of sporting goods store sells blowguns? Okay, I'm back. Um, I forget what I was in the middle of saying, because I've been gone for a little while. Oops, forgot to move my microphone. Uh, I forget what I was in the middle of saying because I was gone for a little while, but uh, I remember I found a tent and an outdoor survival guide, which are very good things to have, um, and the modern tanner. But I think that requires uh, cooking skills and a sewing kit, but no first aid so far. I might take this tent... Did I put it in my bags? Okay, good, I'm holding it. And first aid? And first aid kit, what's a fencing foil? Oh, it's a weapon. But it's a, um, it, it's, it's a practice weapon. 
shows how much I know about fencing if I actually got excited that it might be a weapon. Um, first aid kits behind the counter? No, but there is a hunting knife. Hunting knives are good. Because I need a knife. No first aid kits, unfortunately. Hmm. But I got a, a tent and a knife, so as soon as I find some place to set up camp, I can, you know, get cutting my infected wound out, which is gross, but sometimes a necessity. There's another first, uh, sporting goods store over here, but uh, I think I'm done risking the town for now. I'm gonna go and get the heck out of here, uh, cauterize my wound, and sleep. Hopefully I can find the woods, or at least some wood. Um, might actually be able to salvage some wood from this house, because the only thing nearby is a park which always spawns some children, but I think I could avoid some children. Uh, killing child zombies makes your character feel guilty no matter how many zombies he's killed already. Because, I don't know, killing a child is bad even if it's undead. Gonna... No, I hear things moving, so it might be a difficult salvage. Ooh. Ooh, yep, lots of things. Is the door open? The door is not open. I'm gonna have to... Ooh! Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to get out of here. This was a bad idea. Just head out into the field. It's gonna turn on alert mode, because alert mode means that if I run into anything hostile, I'm going to pause the game. Which is what the you know, whole exclamation point thing in the beginning of the game is, if you ever spotted that. I think I've gone far enough for now. Just a little bit further. Sure. Gonna go ahead and use the tent, hide inside, and start cutting up my infected wounds. Darn. I think the wound on my left arm is too far gone for me to cure this way. Hurts like hell, but, you know. Okay, I managed to clean that wound. I'm going to see if I can cauterize the infected one already, or... Nope. So, darn. I'm going to try to get to sleep. I know it's a really bad idea with this infected wound here, but... You know, I'm in a lot of pain, so... So far, I can't sleep. I'm too busy coughing and hurting. Did I get some matches? I forget. No, but I got a lighter, which is good. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some of my unneeded stuff out here. I'm gonna drop the frying pan. Gonna drop the energy cola. No, I'm not going to drop it there. I'm going to drop it in a separate pile. I'm going to drop the under the hood and drop uh, the energy cola over here because I might need that later. I'm going to put on the socks to keep my little feet warm. Actually, I'm going to try to read that book now since I can't I can't you know sleep because I'm in so much pain. I'm, I'm, my character is really distracted though, so it's taking a very long time. Learning about mechanics is important, because uh, most important base things rely on mechanics, like uh, electricity and s such. You need mechanical skill to make generators. Yes, yeah, stop reading now. Uh, try to eat 
some or drink some water and try to sleep again since I'm so tired now. And I think I might have gotten a little bit sleepy there. But now I'm all cold and stuff, so it is snowing after all. Just wait for a little bit. My pain is slowly going down. I'm up to 25 speed, which is better than z zero, so, but it's still slower than a zombie. Oh, I'm up to 62. I don't know when that happened. Oh, it's because I increased my temperature. I'm going to try to sleep again. I'm waiting for nighttime right now. Can't sleep. Oh, I fell asleep for a little bit. And now I'm all cold again. Too cold to sleep. I might try to go to this house when I get a chance. But for right now, I have stuff to go do, so... I think I might leave it here, in a terrible, terrible spot, in in a pair in in a little tent, in the middle of a field, getting snowed on, freezing cold. Uh, didn't cure my wound. That's that's the most important thing. So I'm probably going to die because my infected wound is getting really infected, and now, you know, I've I've waited a little bit, <clears throat> and as you know, zombie bites act fast. In this game, you can cure a zombie bite, but they are very quick, and if you don't have first aid like immediately with you or someplace nearby, you can get messed up. So, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go, you know, do do my daily stuff. Okay, bye.